good morning everyone and welcome to i believe could be the first fall vlog um now i am back from europe and it feels really really good to be back home in my own apartment it really really does feel wonderful i feel like there is so much catching up we need to do um but today is a very exciting day because i am going to the new missouri store in yorkdale now i know that this has been like in the works for some time now um so you can imagine my excitement being able to step foot in yet another missouri store there is a really really tiny one i think it's on dundas I'm not sure, but it's right downtown, really, really tiny. So I'm very excited for this new one at Yorkdale. Yorkdale is one of my favorite, favorite malls. I think there is just something there for everyone. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, but before that, I do have class this morning because school has started up again and I am still in school. For those of you that don't know or are new here, um, I am quite young and I'm actually still in university. I started all of this while I was like a full-time student and um, I'm still wanting to finish my studies. It, I've just gone part-time now, so it's gonna take me some time to finish, but that's okay, that's, what I've, that's the choice that I've made. Um, I'm sorry if I keep touching my hair. It's very, very orange, and I'm trying to hide these uh, terrible orange pieces. Um, I need to get it fixed like ASAP. But um, I am back in school. I am taking one or two courses this semester. I'm undecided if I'm going to take two yet. I'm currently in two, but I might drop one before Christmas, depending on how well I can handle everything. Um, but yeah, I'm still in school, so I have class today before I go to the Missouri store. And that's kind of my day today. I will be going home after that to spend the weekend with my family. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for today, but I feel like we have so, 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 so much catching up to do. First and foremost, my hair. I'm gonna actually set you up here so I can chat with you. Just set you up here so we can do a little bit of catching up. I do have to go in like five minutes, but um, Essentially, the first um, catch up we need to do is my hair. It has gone really, you can see here these tones. I'm, I'm not sure why, but my hair has gone extremely, extremely like golden and warm. And that is the one thing that I try to avoid. And it's, I think it's an issue that happens a lot when, you know, brunettes try to go and get balayage. Um, people will not lighten our hair. Um, enough and obviously it's gonna take a while because we have dark fruits um, But when you don't lighten it enough it gets um, Orange and um, I think I just need to go in and get it retoned. I'm crossing fingers. I don't have to get it um, Rebleached because I feel like that will not be good for the health of my hair, but I am trying to Go and see Chelsea again. I just don't know if I can if we can fit each other in our schedules if that's the case i'm gonna have to go somewhere else and that freaks me out um but i really can't keep working with my hair looking like that it's not good and i know some people will say it doesn't matter it's just hair um it, well, it does matter because my job requires me to create content and have myself looking proper anyways so that's a little bit of an update on my hair i'm trying to just make it work there's nothing i can do about it right now i'm trying to get an appointment as soon as possible um but yeah anyways that's kind of one of the updates i feel like as the day will go on i'll keep updating you but right now i'm gonna go and quickly get dressed my class is online which it really really bothers me that classes are still online like i understand we were in a pandemic and people are still cautious i get that i respect that but this is education and it's very expensive education where I'm still on Zoom. And I know a lot of schools have gone back strictly to in-person, so I'm not sure why my university has decided to still do online classes. It really upsets me and it's just like, it's no way to learn. So anyways, that's just something that I'm a little bit upset about. But so yeah, my class today is online, um, which is nice, I get to work from home, but um, I don't get to be in school and use the school facilities and you know hear my professor speak in person and be with other students around me you kind of miss out on all of that i guess so um yeah anyways that's kind of my day but i'm gonna go get dressed now because i have class in 20 minutes um and i want to be ready for that so yeah i'm just picking what to wear and i think you will have already seen this in some sort of haul but this is my 
newest Holland Cooper blazer and you guys know I love blazers if you were to look at my closet right now I have so many blazers tailoring is just the thing that I love and I think I always have loved like blazers anything that makes me feel like super strong and powerful but it's still something that I can pair with like feminine pieces like my twirl skirts I feel like that's my style like a blazer and a midi length skirt um, that's just an outfit that's like my go-to um, but blazers have always been my favorite and this is one that I've actually been eyeing up from Holland Cooper and obviously being there I had to pick it up it's this beautiful like houndstooth um, wool blazer the quality is just outstanding I do think if you're looking to invest in a blazer Holland Cooper is the way to go you know their tailoring like their trousers and their blazers are all hand cut and made in England which is astounding I think that's just honestly something that's really admirable so this one is the one that I I picked up I do have a couple other ones I'll show you so this is a shorter style um, blazer so it's just your classic black with the gold buttons and I do have this one in like the double breasted that's the classic one you guys have seen before where it's a little bit longer I would say that's probably my personal favorite but going back to what I'm wearing today I think I'm actually going to pair this with one of my white shirt dresses and I've been waiting literally all year for this I'm going to pair it with my Valentino boots and I don't know what handbag I'm gonna wear yet um, but yeah I'll decide later <laughs> so I feel like when I attend class I'm just gonna wear my shirt dress and then once I have to head out I'll put my blazer on um, and the rest of my accessories um, for that anyways let me partially get dressed for class and then once we're heading out, I'll show you my full outfit because I'm very excited for this outfit. I also think, uh, I may not, um, I picked up a new belt at Holly Cooper. Now, the thing that I fell in love with about this one was the fact that it had these like kind of gold studs all along the back. Um, and obviously it's got kind of like the croc detailing on it. I think that's so different. A lot of my belts are just plain black, but this one had all these like cool little studs in the back. I just thought it made the belt look so much cooler so I picked it up and I absolutely love it again another great thing that um, Holland Cooper does is belts I have several of them because I love them I'm gonna get dressed now because if not I'll keep talking now I don't know how many students I have that follow me um, but I have always been someone who likes pen and paper so I do have my notebook I'll show you in a second last year I tried to modernize myself and I got an iPad which I loved and I tried taking my notes on there which was great and I do recommend it I think if you're someone who's trying to transition into like solely using technology and being more sustainable that way because obviously using paper it's not sustainable um, or not as eco-friendly as you could be um, writing on an iPad is truly truly awesome I did like it I just was missing the ability to like flip pages I actually found I wasted a lot of time during class trying to highlight and erase I found it actually wasted time as opposed to just you know quick highlight I wasn't able to be picky with it because once you highlight you highlight whether on an iPad you can go back and erase it and redo it all of this stuff I found that I was actually wasting a lot of my learning time being finicky with technology um, I'm just gonna say up here so this year I went back to my classic pen and paper I'm gonna scoot over a little bit <laughs> So this year I went back to my classic pen and paper. I actually found this notebook at um, Indigo. Now I typically use five star notebooks. That's always what I've used. I found them really great. The pages are great. They don't like bleed through, especially if I'm using like certain types of pens and stuff. But this one I came across it in Indigo chapters and it was great. So um, it's nice because it's got like the different um like dividers for different courses and i'm someone that i prefer to carry like one notebook around versus like five and i used to do that in first year i had like one notebook for every single class and i eventually evolved to just having like one with different dividers and i would just keep it with me throughout the entire year um i also really like the like personal size notebooks i just couldn't find one in that size otherwise i would have bought it um, but for example, yesterday I had my first class. So I started kind of just taking like my notes there. Um, and so today I'll flip to the yellow divider and start my new class there. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna take my class 
in here today just because that's gonna work. I do have to grab my laptop in a second though. I think it's out there. I hope it's charged. My stuff is never charged. And I have always, always loved Muji. Muji is my go-to for pens. These like, just they're like the classic, I don't even know, ballpoint pen in seven millimeters. These are my favorite pens. I go through so, so many of them. Um, and then when it comes to highlighters, my favorite have always been the mild liner highlighters. I've been using these since high school. They are phenomenal. I remember back in high school, I would follow creators who like lived in like the US and had like access to these. And I remember the first time I ordered these, I had to order them through some site. Now they have them on Amazon and they sell them here, but um, back then I waited like three weeks to get my, my highlighters um, and now I can literally step foot in like my bookstore or get them on Amazon like tomorrow. Um, how times have changed. But anyways, these are my favorite highlighters and even for agendas, I actually love this gray highlighter. This is the highlighter that I use in my agenda because I find it doesn't look like annoying. I feel colors sometimes in my agenda are just annoying they annoy me like i don't want like a bright yellow highlighter in my agenda so i love using this gray one and that is a mild liner one it's like a gorgeous just classic gray um beautiful and then my little case it's my little pencil case also from muji again super just like sleek not bulky or anything um and really easy to wipe down if it gets dirty whereas some like fabric pencil cases get really really gross so I always like just a plastic one. So that's my school stuff that I'm using. <laughs> if I have any students on here, then maybe you can relate to me. If you're like Sam, I've been out of school for years and years as well. This is what people are still doing um, for school. <laughs> but anyways, it is now 10 o'clock and I have to attend my class. So I'm gonna hop on my um, Zoom lecture and yeah, anyways, we'll catch up after that way. We can go to Missouri. Oh my God, I'm literally so excited. I like. I have like goosebumps, I'm so excited to go to Missouri store. to go i'm gonna quickly show you my finished outfit i'm actually really really in love with this outfit it feels like very me and if i actually think back to a photo i took almost two years ago now was it two years ago now almost two years ago now that's crazy i'll put it up here on the screen it is like a variation of that outfit and i always think to myself because a lot of people are like sam like you're sharing things that are out of stock or like they're super expensive Someone worded it very very beautifully in my comments a black blazer is a black blazer whether it's $50 $5,000 or whether you got it for $5 at um, Valley Village, which is like our like pre-loved store here in Ontario a black blazer is a black blazer So good outfits don't need to cost a thousand dollars. They just need to be paired really really well together so um, yeah, so like this outfit is exactly the same I've just swapped some pieces in and out, but Obviously that outfit that I wore the first time around looked just as good, but the price range was totally different. So let me show it to you because actually the dress is still the exact same. I've just swapped some pieces out. So <laughs> let me show you. All right, don't mind the ring light. I was just filming reels in here, but this is the outfits that I'm wearing today. So I've got my um, Holland Cooper blazer on. This is the new one and I absolutely I'm obsessed with it and then this is my old Zara like shirt dress um, such, such a classic piece honestly I feel like I'll just be able to wear this for years and years this time around though I've paired it with my Lady Dior oh is she backwards she's backwards <laughs> with my Lady Dior and then my Valentino boots I think these were one of the best purchases that I made last year these boots are absolutely amazing and I will continue to wear them this season I will definitely try and find you guys like an updated style um, in different price ranges if I can um, because these boots are such a classic classic timepiece but anyways I'm running late so <laughs> let's go so we're just in the car now my hair is like glowing from the AC but <laughs> we're laughing because um, mom's dress she's, she's super with me she looks beautiful and that's her new Holland Cooper bag by the way isn't it just like a moment of appreciation it's just beautiful okay. but anyways um, Mom is dressed like super beautiful, like white shirt dress like me, brown sandals, brown belt, and then her Holland Cooper bag. And then she's like, oh, like it's like, you know, I'm, it's the last like summer day, it's 27 degrees, and you're like, 27 degrees? Um, and I'm like, so tell me why I'm wearing boots and a wool blazer. 
don't know. I guess I'm in denial about like I just I just want fall to be here and I'm just gonna keep dressing until it's here. So yeah. Well, I can definitely confirm that it is 27 degrees out today. It is super, super, super hot. I also totally forgot to bring my sunglasses, so I'm like squinting a little bit. But we have just arrived at the mall. I'm very excited to go in. and I got myself a little goodie, um, a goodie bag of Missouri stuff. So I wanted to sit down and show you what I got because I'm very excited. Okay, I'm actually come in my bedroom because the lighting was much, much better in here, but I've got my Missouri bag to show you. I've actually don't do a lot of filming in here. I feel like this is like the one space I kind of get to myself. But anyways, essentially I found out today, I thought that Missouri had opened earlier, but today was the first day um, they had been open. They opened at 10 a.m. today, which was so beyond exciting. It was super, super busy in there. Um, and it was just really cool to be able to see all of the necklaces, all of the earrings and rings and everything that I just, I love and I get to see online. It was super cool to be able to try things on in person. and. Much like fashion, sometimes the way that something looks on, you know, on the hanger or online or on another person looks completely different on yourself. And I had that experience firsthand today because there was a particular piece that I was going in that I thought I liked and I ended up trying it on in a slightly different variation and I liked the other piece, which I didn't think I was going to like. Anyways, I'm going to stop teasing you and show you what I got. Well, first things first, which you guys, I know I'm a bit of a nerd with this, but uh, we got new little Missouri totes. Um, I'm so excited. And this one actually has a little like pouch that you can put stuff in. Now I feel like this is very much like a city thing. Like if you don't necessarily live in the city, you maybe don't get as much use out of tote bags, but tote bags in the city are like a must have. They are just so essential. And this one is so, so cute. Um, so I don't know if they're going to be handing them out for too much longer, but you know, I don't know, maybe check, check Missouri out because these are awesome and the quality is insane. Um, that was, I think like a little gift for the purchase sort of thing, but now the good stuff. So let's start with, oh, they put a little letter in. They put, thank you for stopping by our shiny new store, the Missouri team. That is so, so sweet. I love that. Um, they also put in a little ring sizer, which I think is so handy, especially when shopping online. Um, you can also put one of these in your order when you buy online, but essentially it's just a little strip that you get. I'll take it out so you can see. And you can make it into a ring essentially. And it helps you, once I get it in here. It essentially, so you put it on your finger and you look at the little number that it says there and it tells you what size of ring you are, which I think is super, super handy, especially if it's like your first time shopping online or you're just unsure. <laughs> but before I show you the rest of the stuff, I do want to say that this is an integrated paid for partnership with Missouri and as always, I am like the luckiest person to be able to work with Missouri because it's truly just a brand that I love and the fact that I get to like celebrate their Yorkdale store opening is so exciting. So anyways, let's start with the first piece that I immediately fell in love with um, when I walked in there and it is a bracelet and it is this beautiful like chunky 
um, chain link bracelet. So I'll get nice and close for you. So the bracelet looks like this and I thought it paired so well with the rest of my Missouri bracelets. It's just a little bit chunkier but adds a little bit more texture and I absolutely love it. I just fell in love with this one. I was looking for something a little bit chunkier but that still looked very very classy. I do have my little chain link necklaces that I love to wear in the summer. So this was perfect. And to go with that, um, when you buy that um, bracelet, you are actually able to buy a few little charms to go with it. And I decided to go for the little moon. Let me get closer so I can show you. So that is the little moon charm that goes on the bracelet. It is so beautiful. It goes on the little loopy part of the bracelet and it'll just dangle. But what I like about it is that it's not too big. It's not too chunky. So it is a little pendant, but it's still going to be very, very minimal. And it's just going to be really, really sweet. The last piece is the one that I think really shows why in-person shopping is so exciting and why like being able to go into the Missouri store is so exciting for me because this was not a piece I thought I was gonna be walking out with but once I tried everything on I was like I immediately fell in love with it so this is the gemstone ring let me get closer <laughs> so this is the gemstone ring it's got some beautiful little detailings here on this side it is so stunning now I've got a lot of rings on so I'm gonna show you what it looks like on it is truly just the most beautiful ring all on its own. If you're like a girl that wants to have one ring and one ring only, then I feel like this is this is the ring because it is so stunning all on its own, as you can see. Oh, I love it so much. I feel like, honestly, this would make like a beautiful engagement ring. Just so untraditional. Anyways, let me show you. <laughs> so that is the gemstone ring there, and it is so, so beautiful. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> now, I love it so much because I can pair it with all my other rings, um, and it looks so beautiful. It's such a statement piece, and for me, someone that I wear a lot of black and white, um, I found that the red actually really stood out and made it just look so, so beautiful. I'm, I'm so in love. I, oh. I'm so excited. As always, I will link all of the pieces in the description box for you guys. And don't forget that you'll be able to receive 10% off by shopping through my link. But anyways, if you're in Toronto and you end up going into one of the Missouri boutiques, do tell me all about it because it is just, oh, so exciting. <laughs> so I have to leave in half an hour to go to class and I have to film a reel before I go. This is something I don't typically show you guys, but essentially I have my ring light on, that's why it's like super bright in here. And then typically when I film my reels, I will actually hang everything here. I will obviously pick up all my fragrances, all my belts are up here, which is great. Um, so this is typically where I film my reels um, and I'm not wearing this to class. I don't feel like wearing this to class. So I'm just gonna change quickly. Um, so I, What's that? Oh, <laughs> got a reminder that my class is in an hour. Um, anyways, that's typically how I film my reels. I think I've like never shown you. And um, yeah, but anyways, I want to change because I don't want to wear this to go to class. I feel like it was a bit of a loungewear outfit for me today. Um, just being comfy around the house. But um, yeah, I'm going to quickly get changed for class and film what I'm going to wear. <laughs> also, oh my God, my skin in that Sicily like foundation skin tint is out of this world it's like this like subtle glow nothing too crazy wow it's beautiful anyways i need to film because i actually like need to get going All dressed for class I'm going to quickly show you my outfit I'm actually wearing the new H&M sweater and I, I'm obsessed um, although it's got this like weird cutout on the hand I'm not sure how I feel about it um, sometimes sometimes I wonder why like brands like just don't keep things simple like but anyways <laughs> it's still a phenomenal sweater so this is my outfit for class I've got my um, I'm gonna put my bag down <laughs> I've got my new H&M sweater this is my new Margot blazer. It is my absolute 
favorite blazer. It is just so, so amazing. And then I am wearing my um, agency pants from Aritzia, my Arigatos. Um, and then, of course, I'm wearing my Dior book toe just because I have to have, like, all my notebooks and stuff with me. I have to leave in five minutes, but I'm going to quickly warm up um, some food. I actually made these, like sweet and sour chickpeas last night so I think I'm gonna have some chickpeas with like a little bit of rice from dinner last night just quickly before I go that way my stomach is not rumbling I also have some of these um Riviera coconut milk yogurts that I could have these are amazing by the way I believe these are like the mixed berry ones I don't know amazing if you've never had them try them because they are phenomenal but anyways I'm gonna quickly do that so that way I can head out the door too spicy the like recipe called for like one I think it was like one tablespoon of hot sauce or two tablespoons of hot sauce and I was like I can eat more spicy than that so I put like a bunch of hot sauce in there and then I'm like maybe I overdid it on the hot sauce ready to go to class my snack was great I've never eaten so fast in my life though but I guess that's what you get when you're trying to work full-time and still be a student but anyways let's go I'm gonna be late I always somehow manage to be running late with everything I do good morning everyone I'm sorry I'm, if you can hear my voice in the background it is because I was um, reviewing my video Oh, I'm learning to love my hair because I just got to work with it. I am going to the hairdresser today But right now I just got finished getting ready. I'm watching <laughs> My video right there. It's for approval. It's actually the Bordeaux trip. I need to set you up somewhere. One second There you go. So I'm watching the Bordeaux YouTube video and oh my god, it is just the coolest thing to watch over. I don't know how many of you know like my backstory. I don't know if I've shared too too much of it um, on here, but I was born in Venezuela. You know, I lived with my mom and my abuela or grandma. Um, it was the three of us. We like ruled the world. Um, but I didn't. I mean, I was. I had a pretty humble upbringing. We didn't have a lot of money. My mom, you know. She worked to provide for us and growing up and being able to hear the stories. I think there were a lot of moments where we didn't have a lot of money and we were very, very tight. But despite all that, I still always had the most amazing experiences growing up. I think my family has always done everything in their power to have those key family moments. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, but essentially what I'm trying to say is I, you know, I didn't grow up in a life where we had the income to necessarily do all of these grand amazing things and the fact that I get to do them now is I don't even have a word for it it's so amazing and I'm always so afraid of like getting excited about like material items or things that I achieve and I think that's just because in the past especially on my YouTube I've gotten a little bit of hate for you know sharing expensive things and so I've just kind of like sometimes won't talk about it won't I don't know I just like avoid it because I don't want to get any negative comments about it um, and as much as it's my job to get negative comments I know that's people's number one argument um, I'm still human and I still have feelings and emotions and my feelings do get hurt and um, so I don't love getting negative comments because they do hurt and they make me sad and I'm still human that way so I sometimes like will try to be safe and avoid these things but I'm gonna try and work on that and to share my like feelings with you guys because I'm like still like a little like kid inside where I'm like oh my god I get to do this thing and that's the coolest thing ever so yeah I don't know that's just all the feelings that I've had while watching Coda Lee I also want to send a huge thanks to Coda Lee and the Coda Lee team because 
everything they did down to the like the most like tiniest detail was absolutely beautiful um so forever thankful to have a relationship with the brand like Caudalie. But anyways, enough with the sappiness. Um, it is 11.30 and I have an event at Yorkdale Mall. They are actually opening up a diptyque store in Yorkdale and I want to say it's one of like the first in Canada. Obviously they have like little boutiques like within like Holt Renfrews and Nordstrom but there are no as far as I know, no like standalone stores and you guys know I love my fragrances, I love my candles and Diptyque is one that I've never tried. I always walk by it at Holt Renfrew, but I'm such a Jo Malone like girl that I've just, I don't know, I've never like gone into it. So I'm really excited to go and smell some of their fragrances in an actual store, which is like so exciting. Um, I'm just, I'm really excited. <laughs> so if you live in Toronto and you want to experience Diptyque, you can now go to a full standalone store, which is like the coolest thing ever. Um, so I do have to get ready for that because I have to leave in two hours, 1230, 130, two hours, <laughs> two hours. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to wear. And I also do have to film some content before that. Also, obviously I have to finish approving this video, but, um, yeah. And then after that, the hairdressers changed my appointment from five to four 30 and my event is supposed to be done at four. Um, so now I'm going to cross fingers that I make it there on time at 4.30, which also means I'm going to have to dress appropriately for that. So anyways, um, that's just kind of my day today. And um, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to go pick out what to wear. So I picked up something at Banana Republic the other day. Now, I don't know if you have seen this yet. I'm not sure. But I am actually working with Banana Republic on a fall campaign. So their focus is entirely on suits and tailoring and just like really sleek, streamlined um, silhouettes. And I'm sure all of you will know, I love my suits. I love my tailoring. I love things that just make me feel super, super powerful. And so I was like, this is insane. So I went the other day to Yorkdale after I went to Missouri and got myself a little something so I wanted to show you what I got because I might wear these today I'm not sure I'm gonna try on a few different outfits um, so we'll see I got a pair of their new denim now these are literally everything I've ever wanted in a pair of jeans so these are a wide leg dark blue denim and the cool thing about Banana Republic now I wish more brands did this and I understand that it takes a lot of time a lot of money it's really really difficult to do this but banana republic has three different um like sizes i guess you could say they have petite they have regular um and they also have tall which i think is amazing there are so many petite women i'm someone who's on the shorter side and always needs to have things hemmed and there are a lot of women who are even smaller than me and um, there's also a lot of women who are really really tall and struggle to find pants that are you know long enough for their beautiful long legs um and so that's something that I actually really admire about Banana Republic. Gap is the same, um, which is awesome because I know I've shopped at Gap before. Um, but essentially, these are the high rise relaxed wide leg denim. And because I wanted a pair of jeans that I could wear with like sneakers or flats, I got the petite size. So these are the um, petite in the size 25. So that's just the waist there, but I might wear these. Maybe I'll pull out. This sweater I wore yesterday. And I know that Diptyque is like a French brand, so maybe I'll do something like that. I think that'd be super, super cute. I don't know what shoes I'd wear, um, but I think that'd be adorable if I did something like that. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to try things on and see how they look. But um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what I end up going with. I wanted to show you the outfits that I settled on today. So this is my outfit. I'm wearing, of course, my Holland Cooper bag. This is the new um, H&M sweater. I'm just obsessed with it. And then these jeans, ladies. Oh, my ladies. These are a pair of Banana Republic. I know I already said that, but these are a wide-legged denim and I am obsessed. And then I just added my Burberry belt. I wanted a nice thin belt and I always love like a little gold accent. So yeah, my Uber is gonna be here in two minutes. So let's head down. And quickly before I go, I have to show you my little invitation to today. So I got this little box 
and I have to hand in this little key with my name to be able to get into the event and how cute is that oh I'm so obsessed with this I love these little touches I also like wish we still had doors that use these keys like how cool is that <laughs> Good evening everyone um it is 9 12 and i thought that i would do my skincare with you it's been a very long day i'm very much ready to get into bed but i haven't done my skincare with you guys in what feels like it's been forever and i feel like i have finally found a skincare routine that i feel like has just made my skin the best it's ever been um, and it's a mixture of really some of my favorite brands and I just want to share it with you because I literally haven't shared my skincare with you guys in forever but I'm gonna start off with my Caudalie Premier Crew eye cream and if you see me looking straight ahead it's because my mirror is in front of me um, and I want to be able to see what I'm doing but I essentially love love this eye cream and I learned from Mathilde who is the founder of Caudalie that once you are done with your um, eye cream you're actually able to take the metal see if i can do it applicator off like that it comes off super super easily and that's what's going to allow you to recycle it which i think is really awesome obviously not perfect but Caudalie is a brand that's really really trying their best to improve their packaging and it's definitely something that is on her priority list which is awesome um so that's the first thing next thing um now i actually discovered this one at the dermalogica event and i immediately like went out and purchased it alongside this biolumin c um gel moisturizer i think i actually talked about this like right after the event and i had shown you guys that i was like i am getting this well i got them <laughs> um but essentially i'm gonna go in with this circular hydration serum and this is great because this is for long lasting hydration and um especially heading into the winter that is all that i want from my skin also this just like immediately when you put it on mm, feels so good truly truly feels amazing Now you can either wait for that to dry down, but you can see that that's already giving me like a nice glow to the skin. And then um, after that, I will go in with my Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. This is great, especially for dark spots and preventing any like dark spots and damage from the sun. Now it's interesting when you hear all this stuff, you're like, okay, well it does something. But the fact that I got to go into the lab and see like physical results and skin samples um, of like before and after, of using the serum i was like oh my god i need to like get on that every single day obviously like i've used codely but this product i didn't realize how much it actually worked which is amazing so i love using this one at night and it just feels so 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 lovely again like oh that glow is just amazing <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit because um, I think I told you guys one of the biggest reasons for having your skincare pill is not letting things um, kind of sink in enough in between applications. And then the next thing that I'm gonna use while my face is drying um, is the Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream. This is again aimed for hydration and has been a game changer in my skincare routine. I use it morning, I use it at night. I also love layering this with um, different products and I actually did get the intense hydration one. So it's this exact moisturizer, but like more intense. And I intend to use that one in the winter once the weather really gets dry. So I'm really curious to see how that one compares to this one because as I was talking to the lovely lady at the Dermalogica spa, she kind of asked me like, oh, like how is your skin? Like what moisturizer are you using? And I told her that I was using this one, but I said that sometimes I felt like I needed to double up. And when I do double up, I actually like to use my Caudalie Premier Crew. Um, moisturizer just on those days that I feel like I need something extra so that's why she actually recommended to me the intense version of it so I do intend to use that one once you know winter arrives and things get a little drier out there same with my skin <laughs> my skin is going to be getting dry that is essentially my skincare and I have been loving it 
Um, I do a slightly different variation of this skincare in the morning, but those are the products that have just made my skin super smooth. Um, I also do have to mention um, the Dermalogica exfoliants. I have all three of them. I have the daily microfoliant. I have, I can never remember the name of the middle one, of just the regular exfoliant and then the superfoliant. I will alternate those um, within my skincare routine and they have been game changing for redness as well as um, like little bumps on my forehead. Um, I'm notorious for getting that and that has helped immensely with that. I was always, always so afraid of exfoliants. I had like, I don't know, I had like a fear of physical exfoliants and and um, I was, I can admit that I was wrong and they actually can do wonders for your skin. Um, I just, yeah, I used to be afraid of them and now I'm like, I can't live without my exfoliants. So anyways, that is my skincare. I feel like I need a little bit more. I feel like everything's just getting dry right now. This weather is evidently changing. It's better. And something I've been loving doing is adding, now I used to do this um, with my Jo Malone fragrances like over a year ago and I stopped doing it but um, I used to love going to bed and putting a spritz of something on and I have been recently putting this one on. So this is my Lyris Lyris um, SM Novella fragrance. Um, I got this one in Paris and it is like the most special fragrance ever. It's also really, really, really light. I unfortunately doesn't really last a whole lot on my skin, but I don't mind. So I've been using it before bed and it's that kind of like fresh scent. Um, I absolutely love it. So I keep putting that one on before bed because it's just amazing. Who doesn't want to go to bed smelling luxurious? Um, let me know if anyone else does that, but um, yeah. Anyways, um, I have had the busiest time and just ever since I got back from London, I feel like it's been like go, 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 go. And my birthday is the 19th, everything's coming up and it's just, yeah, it's just like been nonstop and I feel like I need to take a moment to just like stop and take everything in and, you know, have one of those days. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited for next vlog because I feel like I have so much to share and catch up and I feel like I'm always catching up with you guys. <laughs> Especially because I didn't um, upload so many vlogs in um, when I was in Europe. It was just honestly, it was really, really hard to keep everything in line. I was a one woman show um, in Europe for, for a good portion of it. So it was hard to, to keep everything afloat and going so i apologize for not having so many videos go up the time that i was in europe and stuff but hopefully we'll get back on track soon and we can keep chatting with each other i miss just being able to chat with you ladies so anyways i am going to head to bed now because i'm very 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 tired and um yeah anyways i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.